challenge here is that uh, government regulatory uh, authorities tend to be set up in reaction to something bad that happened. Elon Musk has requested that the artificial intelligence AI development that is being done at his company be temporarily halted for six months, according to an email obtained by Bloomberg. The CEO wrote in a letter to employees on Wednesday that he believes AI is probably the most dangerous concept ever created. He also said that it's important to maintain a healthy balance between AI and human control. The, 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 the challenge here is that government regulatory uh, authorities tend to be set up in reaction to something bad that happened. So if you look at, say, aircraft or, or cars, um, you know, the cars were unregulated at the beginning, aircraft were unregulated, uh, but they had lots of, um, you know, airplane crashes and in some cases manufacturers that were cutting corners um, and and a lot of people were dying. So they, the public was not happy about that and so they established a regulatory authority to improve safety and now commercial airliners are um, extremely safe. Musk made the request after reading about a Microsoft study showing that if AI were allowed to develop unchecked, it would likely result in a dangerous world where humans would become subservient to machines. The Tesla CEO says he's not worried about robots taking over society because they're already doing so in factories and other places where humans work with them every day. Mr. Musk is clearly invested in the future of artificial intelligence, he recently launched an effort to study the potential dangers and implications of AI on humanity. This is not just a hypothetical concern, Musk sees that dangerous AI could come about in the next five years, with potentially devastating consequences for humanity as a whole. In light of the importance of this issue, it makes sense for him to make sure that governmental oversight is adequate to protect citizens. Elon Musk and an array of public figures have signed their names to an open letter that went viral this week, calling for a six-month pause on training language models more powerful than GPT-4, the technology underpinning ChatGPT. Some strange inconsistencies with the signatories aside, the letter is odd. It criticizes the deployment of powerful chatbot technology as rash, but also overhypes their capabilities, drawing on the doom-mongering about AI and killer robots that have captivated the press and distracted from more nuanced, real-world risks. Should we develop non-human minds that might eventually outnumber, outsmart, obsolete and replace us, it asks dramatically, emphasis from the authors. Should we risk loss of control of our civilization? But there are issues we should be more worried about now, like the concentration of AI capabilities among a few increasingly secretive companies, inequality as artists find their work plagiarized without compensation, and all the risks to come from companies racing to plug ChatGPT into their systems. On that last point, the toothpaste is already out of the tube. OpenAI last week launched a new system that will allow businesses to plug ChatGPT into their proprietary databases, allowing its chatbot to carry out tasks on their systems like retrieving information, making bookings, and even running new software that it creates. While the plug-in announcement didn't get much attention in the mainstream press, many technologists saw it as a stunning leap forward for ChatGPT. Not only could it search and synthesize information it had been trained on, it could take action. Think about that for a moment. Machine learning systems make decisions in an inscrutable black box. OpenAI spent seven months testing GPT-4 before releasing it into to the wild, but its so-called red team engineers, who tested how it might be misused, could only cover a fraction of the ways it might be exploited by millions of real-world users. However much OpenAI has tested and prodded its system to make sure it is safe, no one really knows the full extent of its risks until it is deployed publicly. And those risks become more serious when ChatGPT can start doing things on the web. Taking such gambles is, of course, what made ChatGPT so popular. OpenAI made a bet by making ChatGPT public and the result was public adulation and viral success for an AI team that's tiny compared with those that work for big tech firms. Now with these plugins OpenAI is making another gamble, giving ChatGPT even more capabilities and unleashing it to businesses. 
So far, 11 companies including Expedia Group Inc. and payments operator Klarna Bank SB have plugged ChatGPT into their servers as initial test cases. 1. 